In this video, we are going to connect our Gatsby application with DynamoDB. So we are going to set up this plugin, Gatsby Source DynamoDB, in order to perform queries to the database. So now let's go to Amazon and let's create a new DynamoDB table there. Okay, now let's go to DynamoDB. And here we are going to create a new table and we're going to call it bands. And the ID will be ID and this will be a number. Okay, now that the table is ready, let's go to items and let's create a new item. So let's uh, also add a new record here. Let's say that the ID will be one. Let's add a name to the band. So this will be a string and let's say Metallica. Let's add the genre of the band. That will be also a string. This will be metal. And let's add the website of the band. That will be a string as well. www.metallica.com Let's save this document. And now I'm going to add a few more. Okay, so here I added these three documents with these three bands, Metallica, Bush, and Foo Fighters. So now let's go to the application and let's set up the plugin to query the data from this table. Okay, now let's install the plugin. So this is npm install dash dash save Gatsby source DynamoDB. Okay, now that the package is installed, now let's configure the plugin. So here we need to go here to Gatsby config and we need to add the plugin here at the end. So I'm going to grab the settings from here and I'm going to paste that in here. Okay, so as usual, here we have resolve and the name of the plugin. And here I'm going to set the type name that in our case will be band. This will be part of the name of the GraphQL query that we are going to use in our React component. Here we need to set the access key ID and the secret access key from AWS. We can use either the value here and here, or we can use an environment variable. So if we use an environment variable, this will be process.env.access ID and the same for the secret access key. This is secret access key. And the region in our case is North Virginia, so this is US is one. And I'm going to paste that in here. US is one. And the table name is bands. So that's what I'm going to set in here. Okay, we're not going to add any other params, so I'm going to remove this. Now I'm going to set these two environment variables. In this case, the recommendation will be setting up a policy with read-only access so that we can perform queries to the database. Okay, now let's start the server and let's build the GraphQL query to get the data from DynamoDB. So this will be Gatsby develop. Okay, now let's open GraphQL. That is actually the same point. And here we need to go here to all band edges, node, and here we can select the attributes. In this case, we're going to select the name of the band, the genre of the band, and the website of the band. So if we run this query, we're gonna get the three bands that we created, or the three documents that we added to the DynamoDB database. So here, we're gonna see that we have these three elements as well. Okay, now I'm going to grab this query and I'm going to import it into the React component. So here we go to source, 
pages and we go to the index page. And here I'm going to paste the query. And here we follow the same approach as we did with Contentful and Firebase. So here we define the query in GraphQL. Here we define our functional component using this arrow function. And here in this parameter, we receive the result of performing this GraphQL query. And here is how we can iterate over that result. Here we define data. We define the name of the query that in our case is all band. And here we use the map function over the edges so that we can access and we can apply a function for each node. In this case, we are accessing the properties of each node. Here we are basically showing the name of the band, the genre and the website. So now the application is running so we can access the website and we should see the values there. And as we can see here, we get the data of the three bands, Foo Fighters, Bush, and Metallica. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.